Won't you be seated, please? Members of the Senate, members of the House, ladies and gentlemen, we are here today for the purpose of signing the Cancer Act of 1971. And I hope that in the years ahead that we may look back on this day and this action as being the most significant action taken during this administration. It could be, because when we consider what cancer does each year in the United States, we find that more people each year die of cancer in the United States than all the Americans who lost their lives in World War II. This shows us what is at stake. It tells us why I sent a message to the Congress the first of this year, which provided for a national commitment to, for the conquest of cancer, to attempt to find a cure. And now with the cooperation of the Congress, with the cooperation of many of the people in this room, we have set up a procedure for the purpose of making a total national commitment. I'm not going to go into the details of that procedure, except to say this. As a result of what has been done, as a result of the action which will, I, will come into being as a result of signing this bill, the Congress is totally committed to provide the funds that are necessary, whatever is necessary, for the conquest of cancer. The President is totally committed. We have a presidential panel headed by Benno Schmidt, which will report directly to the President so that the President's influence, whenever necessary, can be used to reach this great goal. And in addition to that, all of the agencies of government, the National Institute of Health, HEW, etc., are totally committed. <laughs> Incidentally, it's a very good pen, but the box is worth more than the pen. We get the box, too. <laughs> Benno, you get the Richard. There you are. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Dutton, if you'll step forward, the president of the National Cancer Society. You get the last name. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. May I say something to you, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you. Dr. Dutton, the president of the National Cancer Society. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we would like to think that this is a wonderful Christmas present in the signing of this bill with this pen today for the 52 million people in our country who will develop cancer, who are now living. This bill, we feel, is a real great opportunity for America, probably the greatest thing that has ever been done by the United States. And to you, sir, who asked for this to be a national priority, and to our friends in the Congress who gave us this bill, the two and a half, two and a quarter million volunteers of the American Cancer Society ask that I express their appreciation we are truly, gr truly grateful, sir. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Fine, good to see you. Mr. President. Glad to see you. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Mr. President. Peter, how are you? Harley, good to see you. Hi, good to see you. Hi, Harrison. I didn't know that many of you would come Prior back to vacation. We're still working, Mr. Yes. <laughs> this is an indication of the priorities. You know the Congress had a very long session and uh, finally got adjourned. Uh, we all appreciated that fact, incidentally. Uh, but once they adjourned, uh, <laughs> they did too. <laughs> but once they adjourned and they were to go home and go on their vacations, to have this many members of the House and Senate uh, who are members of the committee back here shows how deeply they feel. And I think that uh, for that reason, we'd like to record this for a picture. So go ahead. We don't have to tell House and Senate members how to get in the picture. <laughs> it's kind of crowded up there. Crowded? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Well, you're right here. You're right here. That's, that's the thing. It can be too, right. can be too much.